Hello, welcome back to my channel. I'm, I've been gone for a minute, but I'm back. Okay, I'm gonna try to be way more consistent about videos. Um, I just finished up my winter quarter, so I only have one quarter left of grad school. I'm getting my MBA officially this spring. I'll be awarded my degree, so I'm super excited about that. But yeah, that's why I've been gone. I was just trying to finish last quarter off strong. All that being said, I have thought of so many video ideas since I've been gone, starting with an entire series that I wanna do on my channel dedicated to discovering new small businesses. So the plan is I'm gonna order from a ton of different small businesses across a ton of different categories of things. The first one, as you could tell by the title, is snacks. I'm sure I will repeat this category again in the future because your girl loves snackies. I am a snack queen. I'm constantly looking for new bus and snacks. Um, so I'm excited to explore some new small business snacks. I've actually been waiting on one snack, which is why I haven't made this video. I've been kind of waiting to make it because I've been waiting for one snack to arrive, but it hasn't come in yet. And I've been wanting to film this video. So I'm like, you know what? That's a perfect excuse to just make a part two. Okay, let's get into these snacks. I'm so excited. So first one, I'll start with this big box. I tried to get a variety of different types of snacks. So let's see, is this all just paper? Okay. So first spot, I found this spot on Etsy. It's called Lucky Bunny Farms. Lucky Bunny Farms, which I guess is in Florida. So cute. I got dried apple crisps from them. I tried to get a variety of healthy and not healthy snacks. So obviously we're starting with healthy. Let's try these. I, oh, they're cinnamon sugar apple slices. And you can choose to get them uh, sliced in half or whole. I chose whole. I'm so excited. So it looks like they just cut them, sh cut the apple straight down. Like, not the center, but like, or, or horizontally. Like, anyways, let's just try it. Cinnamon sugar. I'm excited. Mmm. 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 These are fire. It was definitely more of a tart apple but I like it because the cinnamon sugar kind of balances it out. And it's still, if you hear my dog in the back, it's still kind of chewy, you know? Mm. And this is so good though. Mm. You wanna try? You wanna try? Yeah. I'll bring you all the snacks after. You need I don't. Yeah. I'm for sure taking those to the beach later today. Fire. Let's move to a definitely not healthy snack. So. I am such a fan of Mexican candy. I'm talking anything covered in chile. I love it. This is from Sam's Chamoy. There's a sad, sad story behind this, okay? This one got shipped to our place in Davis. Right now I'm in San Diego for spring break, visiting the fam. And I also got a rim dip with this. I got a watermelon rim dip. Girl. Tell me why I packed it in my carry-on and it's considered a gel, so they threw it away. And I mean, I probably could have guessed that, but it was in this package that it shipped in. I hadn't even opened it yet. So I didn't even think about, you know what I mean? I didn't even see it. I just like threw it in my carry-on. So annoying because I normally don't even check a bag, but I checked a bag this time. So I'm like, I could have just put it in the checked bag. But it's okay, I, the rim dip looked fire. Rim dip is this, this mixture, this concoction by TSA standards, this gel that you uh, put on the rims of your drink. So like, let's say I had a white cloth, or let me just give you an example. Say I'm drinking this can, right? I can take the rim dip and scoop the top of the, you know, dip the top of the can in this like spicy chamoy deliciousness so that every time I get a sip, it's just like amazing, okay? And it's gone, TSA took it away, so. And the lady who was 
who took it out of my bag, I could already tell she low-key was like, I'm gonna take this one home. <laughs> what did make it? What did make it? Okay, are these gummies covered in chamoy? They are watermelon flavored peach rings. Oh my gosh. Also, this packaging is so cute. Look, you guys, my mouth is watering so hard right now. If you want to follow them, I found them on Instagram. Is where I found them. Sam's Chamoy. Here we go. Mmm. 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 I will say, a little more mild than what I'm used to. A little. Um, not. You can definitely taste the peach, right? Not super. Not leaving the mouth super tingly type of thing. But I'm still getting a chamoy. Mmm. Well, they're fire. These are the type that aren't gonna feel, aren't gonna make your tongue feel like it's disintegrating the next day. So that's a good thing, right? Probably be taking those ones to the beach too, so. Shout out to Sam's Chamoy Fire. Next, this one is from Opa's Kitchen. Who's Opa? Because I just bought from the kitchen and I'm hyped. Okay. I strive to offer the highest quality meat and freshest spices for the best price. Okay, Opa, I'm excited. Dear customer, thank you for ordering the best beef jerky in the planet. Oh yeah, so this is beef jerky. This is homemade beef jerky. Look at this thing. Look at this thing. I am so excited. Okay, Opa's Kitchen. In this, okay, the blend that I got is um, spicy Opa. The spicy Opa blend. Okay, that's the one I got. I wanted to go with like the house blend. The house blend, but spicy because I'm like, this is your house blend. You gotta be proud of it. And spicy because, I mean, it's spicy. Okay, let me just try this. Homemade beef jerky. How exciting is that? Okay, it looks like this. You can already kind of see the, like some sort of pepper on there. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. this was another Etsy find. It's not too spicy, but it does have more of like a, like a black pepper type of kick to it. That is super good. Mmm, I like beef jerky. I'm a fan, but sometimes like the ones you find in the store, a little sus. I feel like typically store-bought beef jerky will get kind of like, it's it's almost like too soft. You're like, is this, is this, this isn't even like jerky almost. Like this has to be artificial. This you can tell was like dried. Uh, it, it's dried perfectly. And oh my gosh, it smells so good. I could eat like the whole thing right now, but I won't. It's so good. Big fan, Opus Kitchen, check it out. I think all they sell is beef jerky. Um, so yeah. Okay, last place. I was gonna have two more places, but like I said, that one never showed up. I, I sent them an email before starting this video, so we'll see what happens. I was actually done editing this video completely, and then that business that was missing showed up. So I'm actually back in Davis now, but these did deliver to San Diego. Um, I just brought them back up with me, so because I knew that I needed to finish this video. I'm like, I'm just gonna squeeze it in there because it came way too close, so. This business is called Sweetie Treaty Co. Their labels are so cute. I found them on Instagram. And I'm so excited. As you guys just saw, these are both freeze-dried, freeze-dried candies, okay? I'm so amazed by these candies and I'm just so curious, like what is this even gonna, what is the texture gonna be like, you know? So let's start with, let's start with the Skittles. These are freeze-dried Skittles. Skittles, they literally look like they just exploded. I was so tempted to look up freeze-dried snacks on YouTube, but I resisted just so I could be truly surprised. Okay, I'm gonna do the lemon first. Lemon is first. Okay. 
Whoa, that is so good. It's just like a crispy, like not just crunchy, like crispy, light and crispy Skittle. So good. I don't know how they did it, but they did it. Okay, this one I'm even more excited for. This is freeze dried nerds ropes. Okay, look at these. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What? Like, where did the middle go? Look at this thing. I think one just fell. It's like hollow. This looks so crazy. This does not even look like I should be eating it. Okay. Why is that? Literally so good. Wow, that is so delicious. If you're ever gonna try anything freeze dried, try freeze dried nerd ropes. I know they look so crazy, like literally what? Literally what is that? But they taste so good. They're like sweet and sour. Oh my God. And you just like close your mouth and they, mm. So good, 10 out of 10, check these out. I can eat this whole bag in like two seconds. Okay, back. Last place for now. These came all the way from New York. I think, yeah, New York. Um, they are macaroons, macarons, macaroons, one of those. Macaroon Central is what it's called. I found them on Instagram. It's so cute. On the back of the box, they have all of their flavors listed out. They have some cool ass flavors. Okay. Oh, remove from refrigerator and let it sit for 30 minutes. Oh no, I haven't let it sit for 30 minutes. I might have to let it sit. I think I got pistachio and dulce de leche. Oh my gosh, this is what they look like. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, wait. They had so many cool flavors. That's the thing. I definitely was debating. I wanted the taro, but I didn't end up getting it because I'm, I'm a, for pistachio macaroons like. Pistachio sweets in general, pistachio ice, pistachio gelato, pistachio gelato. You have not tried it, run, don't walk. Okay, I'm so excited. Okay, it definitely comes nice and packaged up. Super safe. Do like this. Pistachio and dulce de leche. They smell so good. Okay. okay, it's been about, I'd say like 15, 20 minutes. Let's try the pistachio first. Oh my gosh, looks so good. Mmm. Oh my gosh. Look at the way it broke. That's how you know it's a good macaroon when it breaks like that. This is so good. It's perfect level, perfect level of sweetness. They even had some crushed up pistachios on top and you can taste it. It tastes like pistachio, sweet pistachio and it's so good. Last, but certainly not least, is the dulce de leche. The top has a pretty swirl. It looks so good. Look at that. Oh my gosh. This is a craft. This is a craft right here. I have so much respect for all of these small businesses because I know they're putting in that hard work and they are coming out with quality, quality snacks. You can actually read the ingredients on in all of these things and recognize all of those ingredients. And that's super valuable to me. Sometimes, you know, small businesses cost more but you're paying for quality and you're paying, you're preventing, you know, these big corporations from almost monopolizing the market, right? So 
you're doing a good thing when you're shopping small and you're really supporting families when you when you do shop small, right? So we go. Dulce de leche. Mm. You know what? Dulce de leche is it's like caramelly. And almost like graham crackers. Like if you took a graham cracker and dipped it in some great caramel, you would have like a dulce de leche taste. This is so amazing. All of these snacks, like I said, are so amazing. I will put them all in the description box and where I found them if you are interested in following them or checking out some of their products. Everything was so good. Like I said, I'm, I'm so impressed and I'm just like, find the small business alternatives because they're out there. I'm actually going on a hike, not the beach. So I'm gonna be taking a ton of these snacks with me and enjoying them with a view probably. Yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you learned about some new small businesses. This is episode one of the Shopping Small series, okay? Maybe we'll call it that, I don't know. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Have a good one.